Yes, so we will continue the same topic that is agriculture. So you can see here the main units of June. Yes. Units of June are this mainly June used for making candy bags, robes, and carpets. That already had been in previous class. Jute and cotton are the best examples for fiber crops. Jute and cotton are the best example for fiber crops. And it grows well in a little loamy soil, in quiet temperature, high temperatures. Annual rainfall must be 150 centimeters. And it grows, produces the leading producers of jute in the old age. One is India and Bangladesh. So India and Bangladesh are the leading producing countries of jute. You can see here the leading producing state of jute in India especially. In India, which are the main states or leading states producing of jute? Here, Varisha, West Bengal, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Assam, and Meghalaya. These are the leading states. Leading states, leading producing states of jute. I mean, this is a golden pepper. We say jute is a jute also considered a golden pepper. So, this fiber, leading producing states in India are Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Assam. Meghalaya, West Bengal, and followed by last one is that is Madhya. Now coming to the beverage crops. Coming to the beverage crops. Which are the beverage crops? So here you can see that's mainly beverage crops. Tea and coffee are the most important beverage crops. Tea as well as coffee can be considered as beverage crops of India. You can see here. The thing, the first one, coffee is India produces about four percent of the world's total coffee production. Take coffee. India produces about four percent of the world's total coffee production. Arabica is the good quality of coffee. Arabica is the one of the finest quality. This is the very good quality of coffee. Confined to the hills of Nilgiri hills. You know Nilgiri hills, blue mountains, blue hills. That includes Nilgiri. That means it grows Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. So, entire Nilgiri, Nilgiri hills, this crop will be cultivated, which is that coffee. So, coffee is the leading producing of Karnataka, the leading producing of coffee in the country. It is mainly grown along the Nilgiri hills, that is, blue mountains, or you can say, Udakamandal. And the entire South India includes that is Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka. So these are the main areas where coffee plantations will be grown. You see here. So mainly here grown entire. Karnataka is includes Karnataka, even Tamil Nadu, and even Kerala. This entire border, the blue color shaded area, so shows that the leading producing of coffee that is Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. So the entire Nelly Nelly Mountains, the crop will be cultivated.
Now come to the T. T is one of the finest example. Not only calorie stocks, at the same time, here tea and coffee are also considered as nutritional stocks. Tea, coffee, rubber, simona, these all can be considered as plantation crops. Right? So, he is one of the things. See here, so what climatic conditions he requires? What climatic conditions he requires? So, he requires here, requires frequent soils, requires abundant cheap and skilled labor days. Always state the label is very important to remove these tea leaves. Processes within the tea garden, growing areas. Yes. Mainly, the tea will be grown in the states of Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, and Tripura. These are the Tea producing areas of the country, tea producing states of India are Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, and Tripura. And India is a leading producing corn and export of tea. If you see the outside the world, Capital of other countries. India is one of the leading countries, leading producers of tea, exporting or especially exporting of tea to the other nations. India is the leading, leading exporter of tea outside the world. Now you can see here the tea producing areas. Tea producing areas of in India. You can look at the map here. Tea producing areas mainly here Uttarakhand, here and complete Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, and Karnataka. Karnataka and Kerala. Yes, complete Kerala. So this tea producing states. Now come to the agriculture development is. How we are going to develop the agriculture is? Agriculture development refers to efforts made to increase farm production in order to meet the growing demand of the increasing population. As you know, India is a densely populated and in the world. How much population is there? That much population, how much required, how much food production is required. So, according to the people's demand, population demand, you have to increase the production. That is, refers to the efforts made to increase farm production in order to meet the growing demand of the increasing population. Second point is here increasing the human production. Through the introduction of better technologies. So, we people will use to use old implements, old technology, early. So, we don't produce much production. So, now we can see the latest technology, modern pesticides. So, a lot of things are available. So, we have to use the betterment of the production. And facilities and methods to build the growing demands of the population base. At the same time, government also should have to create to provide such facilities and different methods to fulfill the growing demand of the population. Mechanization of the agriculture is also another aspect of the agriculture development base. Mechanization of tools, technology, latest methods, latest tools is very, very important. To improve the machines, also another important aspect of developing the agriculture. Right? Agriculture is practiced in different parts of the world. 
place as you know. Because agriculture is the primary, no, primary activities. The best example of primary activities is agriculture. Second is after agriculture, industries. So here, agriculture the practice in different parts of the world. In developing countries with large population, especially today, all the developing countries, like you take all the neighboring countries, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh. Take all the neighboring countries, especially the developing countries with a large population. Most of the developing countries have a huge population and the intensity of the is usually practiced. Intensity of the intensity is where the population is very, very high. There they will cultivate this method of agriculture, intensive of the intensity is. Because food is very essential. In, the, in these countries, crops are grown on small holding mostly for the subsistence. Because even though large families, intensive cultures are there, but the only thing is most of the families are having small holdings of factors. Commercial agriculture is practiced in large holdings, especially the countries like USA, Canada, and Australia. If you take the commercial side, commercial agriculture is practiced on large holdings. The countries like USA, Canada, and Australia. If you see, if you study the case study, farming in India, if you see, if you study agriculture pattern in India. Mundurao is a small farmer in Adilama, a village in Gazipur district of Uttar Pradesh. Yes. Give an example of this poor man. His name is Mala Munnawal. His name is Munnawal, a small farmer who is belongs to Adilama. Adilama village. Gajipur is from Gajipur district of Uttar Pradesh. He owns a farmland about 1.5 acres. So it is not so much. 1.5 is very, very minimum. He purchases high yielding variety of seeds from the market and will automate the areas. So whenever monsoon occurs, for every year, for every season, for every period, is to buy the seeds, right? To perform, to cultivate like this 1.5 acres of land, he purchases high yielding variety of high yielding, high yielding variety of seeds from the market for every alternate year. He normally grows two crops in the areas. Since it is a small holding, since a small farm, so he keeps on growing twice a year. Yes. Normally he grows for two crops in the year, which are rice or wheat and pulses. Because rice requires more water, whereas pulses requires less water. So therefore, after harvesting, so without expenditure, without spending the money, just the pulses means all type of grants, which requires not for most fertility of land is not required, more rainfall is not required, temperature is average, so easily you can get the profit. So therefore, he cultivates both rice as well as pulses. I place a tractor on rent for filling the field. 
some of his friends still play on traditional method of using bullock pots for flying. You can see, if you see rural areas, even if you go, the most of the people they have been using this, the latest technology, yes, by farming land and using the tractors. He also takes cucumbers from the nearby fields on land to irrigate his field. At the same time, he gets, he takes the water from the friends. That means water he takes with the neighboring friends from the irrigating cucumbers from the cucumbers from the water cucumbers from the nearby field on land to irrigate this thing. He also goes to buffaloes and few hens. He sells milk and pork at the stores located in nearby towns. He is not only cultivating a agriculture, apart from that, he is doing other secondary activities. Right? This is how the person, a small holding family, doing agriculture as well as secondary activities, he earns profit. With this, we will find out, we will continue next class.